Okay, I'm today I'm going to use the GPIO expander board which I bought. It is a PCF8574. I connected it to Raspberry Pi I2C bus 1. And I'm testing a LD, a relay and a button with it. At first to the addressing of the bus I to C dump Yes one I get the address uh, I to C detect Yes one I get the address and it is 38. If I'm using multiple of these, I can switch the jumpers on the address bus. I can show it to you. It's like this. I'm setting this jumper to high. And now on I2C detect, I see it on address 39. Now, back to the original position. Now to the LED. Uh, the LED is pulled high, so the brown cable is the high, and orange is the LED wire and I pulled it to high and I can turn it off and on by using I to C Z and changing mask to like you see here so the relay is the same but it's sitting on address 1, so I'm writing a 1 to it. For the relay I had to also pull it up, but with a pull-up resistor, which is exactly 10 kilo ohms, it uh, took a bit time to figure out which resistor I actually had to use because it's very low current flowing uh, through the GPIO expander and this very um, yeah hard to find the correct O match. Now last but not least the button. I'm having a script which is an endless loop while true to I to C get Yes, one uh, on the 38 bus, and I'm writing a 4 to that. This is exactly the mask of the fourth bit. And now I'm getting 4, and when I'm pushing the button, I get a 0. So, like this. Okay. So, um, the background is, I'm writing a 1 to it, but with my circuit, I am connecting the pin to the ground. So, I wrote 1 to the pin, but I shorted it, so I read out a 0. So, that's it. This is my I2C bus. Um, GPIO expander and uh, it's uh, I, I think I, GPIO expander is really great for for doing things like home automation because we have only four wires and you can buy telephone cables which have exactly four wires so it's ideal to use phone cables to connect your house to your Raspberry Pi.